Hi, welcome to this video session. In this video session, we'll be saying how to handle JSON text in Python. So let's also see what outcome has been planned for this, uh, this video. So after watching this video, the audience or the students will be able to encode and uh, decode JSON text in Python. So primarily this video would be a hands-on where it will show you how to encode a Python object into a JSON and how to decode a JSON string into a Python object. Uh, let's move to the hands-on session here and for this hands-on session what we are planning is we are planning to encode and decode a python object into a json text so we'll move to we'll switch to google collab and we'll see what are those methods and what python modules we require to uh, handle json text in python so let us switch to google collab so this is a google collab id and on this collab id i have already a small text excel where i have put uh, the various json types available to a developer in a various python types so primarily we'll be saying what happens to these json types when we encode them into uh, or when we can when, when they are uh, uh, encode when, when they are decoded into python object so we'll start with a code cell here so here in this code cell we'll first import a module which is necessary for uh, for my python script to use methods uh, which handle encoding and decoding of a uh, json so now to just to uh, set the context very straight when i say encoding i would say how a python object would be encoded into a json and when i say decoding i'll say how a uh, json string will be decoded into a python object so let me let us move now let us take a so small sample uh, json string will define a small json str so it would be an entirely a string so what we'll do is we'll encode them into okay since it's a json let me encode everything into a set of two single quotes so let's have a json uh, string code here and what we'll do is we'll have uh, some key value pairs here so it's based on JSON syntax name. Let's say uh, name is Peter, and uh, let's have one more key JSON key here. I'll call it as A's, and A's will be let's say thirty. Uh, that's it. So we'll have a two a small JSON um, string which which has a key and a value, and you can see that the, this value is of string, and uh, this value is of type numeral now i want to convert this for example let me also see what type of uh, variable this is so here so let me put this string here okay uh, if i enter this you should see the type of this executing okay that's a string which i said if i want to see what type of uh, variable it is okay it's, it's a string so it's a json string now how do i convert that into a python encode so what i'm saying like uh, what i'm saying is i am decoding a json string into a python object usually the json uh, uh, string uh, have uh, once you uh, encode into a python object what exactly it happens is it, it it usually converts into a python dictionary so how do i do that so sample i'll call pi object is equal to now what method i need to use the method to decode a json string is json dot load s as for string i need to provide this variable here. same for json str once I convert, what I'll do is I'll print that object and at the same time I'll also print the uh, type of that object as well. Okay, so let's see this, what it prints. So it prints the following, you can see that it's a, it looks, uh, it's a dictionary. So to verify that, we'll also print the type of that. Let's see. So you can say it's a soft dictionary type. So what we have seen, we have seen a JSON string can be decoded into a Python uh, dictionary object with the help of method. 
Jason dot Lotus. So let us move to uh, other code where we'll here see how to convert a Python object or how to encode a Python object into a JSON. Let's see that. So let's define a sample object. We'll call it a sample object. Uh, let's call it a sample object two. So sample object two. Uh, it will be this will be a dictionary. So here we need to define a value. We'll use the same. The name is a string. So let's call it as once. Let's do. Let's call it as Andrew. And uh, let's take age as one more key field whose value will be 45 and uh, we'll take one more variable um, and uh, let's call it as mm, let's call uh, height and this I'll represent in floating point uh, uh, format I'll call it as 5.10 uh, okay and uh, we'll just do a small print to ascertain we are syntactically correct and it prints the contents of that and uh, we'll also print the type of that we'll call this as type you can see that it prints it's a dictionary so now how do I convert that into JSON? So to convert that into JSON, we use a method dump s. So you need to provide the object which you want to encode into the JSON string. That will give you, I'll just call temp air. And now I'll print that temp air as well. see that when I execute it yes it converts that and it prints it so you won't be able to find much of difference in this output so what we will do is I need to see what the type of uh, output which my JSON dot jump has the dump has generated so I put that in a type so now you can see that let me put some separator to distinguish the output So you can see that its type is str. So that's a string. So dump s, what dump s does, it actually encodes a Python object into a JSON string. And what json.loadS does, it decodes a JSON string into a Python object. So this is it. Let's see, uh, as a quick summary of this, let's see what so uh, based on the the methods json.loadS and dump the general conversion goes in this way a python dictionary object gets converted into a json object a python list into an, a json array python tuple uh, do get converted into array python str into json string python types of int and float they uh, do get converted into a number and python boolean types which are true and false they convert into JSON boolean types true and false. Uh, those are case sensitive. That's how we write in JSON uh, with T with lowercase and F with lowercase. And Python none type gets converted to JSON none type. So, what have we seen in hands on? In hands on, as a quick summary of uh, this video, in hands on, we saw that uh, we need to import a package called a JSON, uh, which we do it with the help of line import JSON. And we have used two methods json.loadS and json.dumpS load s is to uh, decode a json string into python object and json dot dump s is to encode a python object into a json string so as a quick reflection of this video uh, the question is a python object having tuple of tuples will encode in json as what so you can pause the video at this moment and you can watch, uh, watch the video to the uh, the point of pause and you can guess an answer for this 
uh, the answer for this question is it gets converted into array of arrays why because we have seen that a tuple gets converted into array so if we have a tuple of tuples it should be an array of arrays and uh, this is a bibliography which i use for this video you can explore this links for uh, for the study of the uh, background material required for this video so thank you and uh, that's it for this video